more people that follow the standard, the more people that can uh, actually consider our product and help the industry grow. So Hey community, welcome to another episode of Behind the Tech. In this one, we talk to Ben Spoon, the CTO of Holybrew. Holybrew is a Chinese drone manufacturer known for their quality hardware at affordable prices. Keep watching to learn how Holybrew leverages the Pixel Open standards and their drone code membership to create cutting edge flight controllers that are powered by open technologies. Do you feel like the Pixel 4 coming from that old technology into what we have right now in the new lineup, do you feel like that had something that revolutionized the industry? Did you feel like it was just a normal evolution? It was that super, like a super crazy design that changed things? The Pixel 4 was successful because um, I think we have a good base as a manufacturer that developed quality product. And uh, going from Pixel 4 and then we go to the Pixel 5X and now the 6X, 6C. And it's because I think like um, there's more AI stuff and more uh, computer vision stuff. So really, we really need more computation power into uh, in, with the flight control unit. So, so with the 6X, we can mount like various different, we can create baseboard to mount various different companion computer and that would open a new door for the drone industry. I think. All right, and so you, you, do you see already like that there's demand for all that type of hardware right, right now? Right now, yeah. Okay. So um, right here, I'm at the uh, Exponential 2023 and uh, one of the biggest uh, demand is um, having a flight controller integrated with a, a strong, uh, powerful uh, companion computer. So. Hollywood started with hobbyist things, mm -hmm. and then FPV ish. You still do FPV stuff, right. but then you quickly migrate it into a commercial product that is helping move the computation power to the companion computer. Mm -hmm. How did you make that decision? We just look at the market, you know, how uh, FPV products. Um, there's more and more competition, and there's also more and more restriction on where you can fly the FPV stuff, and uh, and there's just more demand from for like for a company to make um, quality uh, commercial product like the Pixhawk and GPS and our GPS systems. Yeah. Let's, let's let's talk a little bit about the software side. Okay. How how do you deal with the fact that you're not building your software in house? Uh -huh. How do you support your customers? Okay, so we we actually uh, work closely with the PX4 team, and um, they the, the team developers help us a lot, and we also hire uh, contractors, um, and they and we pay them to help us uh, investigate on the, the software issue, and also myself look at we I look at all the other issue and uh, report it to the PX4 team. And it's just a, a close loop uh, relationship. Yeah, uh, I also want to mention and give a huge shout out to the autopilot team because you also support autopilot. Right. Yeah, we also support autopilot. We support uh, a lot. Of some of the flight control also support uh, beta flight, INF, all kinds of open source uh, software. So you're, you're basically a big open source shop. D d definitely. Yeah. Nice. And we recently worked together on a few new flight controllers. Mm -hmm. And the paradigm shift a lot from the Pixel 4 single board flight controller mm -hmm. to the new Pixel 5X and 6X with the baseboard and the FMU unit mm -hmm. being a different module that you plug and, can plug and play. Right. How did you feel the manufacturing process or the development process even? Let's get, let's go a step behind the development process for that product went and how did you manage to build that like the 5x or the 6x and was that different for building a Pixel 4 i would say it's not that much different his uh, flight controller but uh the mechanical side is definitely a little different because you have the modular and you also have to uh, provide um like drawings to the customer where they, they can uh, assist them in how to create their own customized baseboard. So, but but overall, like the, the process has been not similar. Yeah. And you took the design um, mm -hmm. for the 5X and the 6X, and 
once you had the prototype, how did you ensure that you were actually up to spec? Mm -hmm. So I work with uh, Droneco Foundation, and I sent uh, our hardware sample to many different uh, people, and one of them would be uh, a person that certified the PixHawk standard for uh, Droneco and for us. So, uh, and that, that process is, is pretty good. So we, we sent products out, we, it get verified and get tested. And, uh, and also, of course, we test it ourselves. And, this, and that's the process we and go through. Do you see any benefit in that? Oh, of course, yeah. Sometimes we get feedback on uh, what needs to be improved. And also, we, it helps that there is a, a, prof uh, a professional developer that has many years of experience validating our product. And, uh, and does it help you as well with the firmware, with the software? Oh, of course. Um, if, when, if you're following the PixHawk standard it, and creating a flight controller, you, use, you can use the PX4 target. As, for example, like the PixHawk 6X we use, we just use the PX4 FMU V6X standard. And the support has been great because uh, the, the, the developer only has to manage one target instead of managing all these different kind of boards. Here's a tougher question. Yeah. How do you see the fact that there's other companies as, as well being mm -hmm. able to build the same standard? And how will you, how, how does Holy Bro differentiate their PixHawks from other companies' PixHawks that are mm -hmm. also capable of building the same standard? Yeah, I think it's, it's actually a good thing that multiple uh, companies are building it uh, because each company has their pros and cons. Uh, there's many companies that are made in the USA with uh, following the standard and making flight controller. And a lot of customers prefer that. They, they want the board to be made in USA for uh, regulation reason or just personal preference. And uh, also, um, the more people that follow the standard, the more people that can uh, actually consider our product and help the industry grow. So if you don't like, if they don't like our uh, baseboard or but they like our flight control module unit, they can use our module, someone else's baseboard, or vice versa. So, so I think, and it helps the industry grow. And we also make a lot of different drone uh, peripheral, not only flight controller too. So you got your flight controller, and where do you think you position your products or your company in relationship with the other companies, let's say? Mm -hmm bigger companies, smaller companies, how do you, from a vision or goal from within the company, and I'm talking about like technology, like mm -hmm. what's your goal within the company and how do you set the vision for, hey, we are gonna make this type of hardware and why do we wanna do that? Like, is there a vision or a goal driving that within Holybro? Um, I think our goal is just to make quality products that uh, really work out of the box. Being a manufacturer in China, we have a benefit of um, being able to produce hardware at a lower cost than uh, most of the world. So definitely one of our selling points. And of course, uh, we sell at low price, but we, I don't think we sacrifice the, the quality. And uh, it, we've been, um, it's been proven um, and the, the response has been well. Yeah. So really good hardware, mm -hmm. quality hardware at a low entry price. Mm -hmm. the, very good uh, performance to cost ratio, definitely. Great, yeah. awesome, that's a great way of putting it. Um, what do you think is missing in the hardware landscape for drones? For open source, I would say like something like uh, an affordable smart battery system. That would be one of the things that I think that would drive the open source community forward. Even so more. You, like a smart battery management system? Yeah, so, so if someone, if a, uh, if someone can buy a, a smart battery that use drone can and it connects to the PX4 or autopilot or whatever flight control stack they use, and it just makes uh, makes the whole drone system more safe, more safe, and and it definitely would drive the community forward. What what do you think is the main benefit that open technologies have brought to hold the world? So I think. Um, it really minimized some of our uh, R&D time. And so we don't need as many like software developer as uh, required if, I, if we don't use like open source firmware. And so we can allocate more of our time 
into quality control mm -hmm. and, uh, and other innovations.